All right, so welcome back, guys, again for another mail time video. This stuff is all the mail you guys send from the month of March. And if you guys are new to the channel and you've just recently subscribed, we're working on a license plate project. Uh, I'm currently kind of collecting the license plates that you guys have sent in and making a whole collage or a mural uh, on a wall in my warehouse where I'll be spending a lot of time come summertime. Uh, for flea marketing and inventory auctions and stuff like that. I'll put a brief clip right here of what the wall looks like now. And that wall is obviously going to be nothing but license plates you guys have, you guys have sent me. Um, it's not something I picked up at flea markets. It's not something I've collected from auctions or yard sales or traded with people. That is strictly everything that you guys sent. On the other wall is going to be license plates that are duplicates. So if there's duplicates of California, Arizona, Utah, whatever, in terms of the same style, it'll go on the other wall. So one big wall is going to be everything's going to be different, not state-wise, but difference in terms of appearance, such as something from the 70s from Wisconsin as opposed to something from 95 or 2005 from Wisconsin or any state in that mine. Uh, everything in that one main wall is also going to be domestic. So on the side wall, it's going to be international. And on the opposite wall, it's going to be duplicates. So thank you to everyone who sent me license plates. I'm sure there's probably going to be a couple license plates in here. Um, and let's get into fan mail. All right, so what we have here, we have a letter from Nicole in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Just want to wish you and your family a happy and safe Patty's Day and Easter. Hope you have fun and stay safe on both holidays, Nicole. Well, I'm still here, so thank you so much. I did stay safe, and happy holidays to you as well. We have a postcard here from Allison in Utah. Dear Taco Stacks, I just subscribed to your channel. I watched a bunch of the videos, and they were great. Keep up the great work. You're awesome. Susan Allison from Utah. Here we have another letter from Mark in Hawaii. Looks like possibly a decal. Oh, we got a decal. Hi again, I just sent you the car horror hat a while back. Just wanted to give you the sticker. Thought you could slap it on the scrap cherry on the gas cap dash dashboard, wherever you want. I just want to let you know on the free section of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. I've had a good luck getting stuff there and reselling on eBay. All for free. Can't beat it. My eBay store, it is Action Jacks 808 that would be awesome. So check that out, Action Jacks 808 He did send me a car hard hat. I still have it. It's a great hat. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mark. And here's a decal. It's Dumpster Marcus. He's actually another YouTuber. Dumpster Marcus, you might want to check him out. He does a lot of scrapping and stuff like that. He also has, and he's also local to me. So sometime I might go up there and see him and maybe make a collage or some, some sort of collaboration with Dumpster Marcus. Uh, check him out on YouTube as well. Thank you, Mark. Here we have a letter from David in Indianapolis. We got a lizard. That's probably not a lizard. That's a frog. That might not. Oh, we got Dunkin' Donuts in here. Oh, we got another thing. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, had the best spring and summer ever, Taco. You deserve it. Your friend and buddy from David. So thank you, David. We have a letter here. Taco Snacks is the best on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I am, but I appreciate the compliment. I found a 1960s blue carnival glass candy dish wolf lid in mint condition. Heavy and nice size at the antique store this morning that is having to close because someone bought the building. Got it at half price at $10. A really nice piece. Have fun. Have a wonderful adventure finding stuff. David from Indianapolis. And we have David who sent a gift card from Dunkin' Donuts. Wow. Thank you, David. So this is a $25 gift card from David. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I will definitely be using this for iced coffees and uh, Boston Cream Donuts, that's for sure. So thank you so much, David, for thank you so much, David, for the gift card and happy holidays to you as well. Thank you so much. All right, so I do have some packages on the floor that I'll get to shortly, but we'll start working on this pile over here. Um, we have an international package from I have no idea. I think the United Kingdom because I see Royal Mail and that's where I think Royal Mail is. Oh, we got a letter here. Uh, it looks like some newspapers. Oh, got some postcards. Images of York from the United Kingdom. Hey Taco, greetings from York, UK. I've been subscribed to your channel for nearly a year. I enjoy watching a garbage picking, flea market, and thrifting endeavors. Your thrifting vlogs are probably my favorite. It's amazing to see the size of thrift stores in the U.S. It makes the charity shops the way called thrift stores here in the U.K. look tiny in comparison. Anyways, I've included some snacks from Yorkshire, which I hope you'll enjoy, as well as some Yorkshire tea. Thinking that they don't happen to run out of iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, you can always have a cup of tea instead. 
Cheers, and as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace. Andrew from the United Kingdom. So thank you, Andrew, for all the gifts here. Got some Yorkshire a tea. Kit Kat bar. It's so weird because like the Kit Kat bars in the United States don't look like this. So I'm very curious if they're going to taste any different. We have an Aero bar. I don't think I've ever had an Aero bar. And a Yorkie. I guess this might be relative to York, United Kingdom, a Yorkie. So yes, I never had an Aero bar or a Yorkie, and I assume this Kit Kat bar is going to probably taste like normal Kit Kat bars, but I don't know. Thank you, Andrew, for all the wonderful gifts. I'll definitely let you know how these chocolates taste. We have something from Christy. We have a package here from Christy in Indianapolis, Indiana. See no letter, so this might be a guessing game in terms of finding the letter. Unless it's in here. Ooh, a lot of gifts. Oh, that looks like the letter. Taco stacks. Open off cam. All right. We have some Kansas State printed. Oh, these look like old postcards. These are sweet. 1909 is this one. Wow, really, really cool. Thank you so much for the postcards, but I assume that's probably the only letter here. Got license plates. Is there anything else? John Deere. Awesome. John Deere license plate. I actually have a John Deere tractor or a lawnmower. Um, so I'll probably just throw this on there somehow, rig that together. So look awesome. Thank you for the John Deere license plate. That's awesome. That's that's cool. We have a Jeep license plate. Jeepy. I drive a Jeep. Thank you for that. I do not have this plate, that is for sure. Indiana and this color scheme don't have this. That's awesome. Um, I have a couple Indianas, not this one. Thank you for that license plate. It's kind of like in Boston in the middle. That's kind of cool. We have a Don't Tread on Me with the Rattlesnake. My friend in college actually had a flag like this, and uh, he gave it to me when I graduated. I don't know why, I don't even use it, but uh, very, very cool as well. My favorite hockey team. Oh, two of them. Awesome. Wow, 1989. Awesome, that's cool. That's that's vintage looking too. That's, that's sweet, I appreciate that. New York Rangers, my favorite hockey team, as well as this piece. Does this have a date on it? This looks even old. No, 1991. I won't tell you what happened in 1991, but uh, big things happened in 1991. So thank you for uh, thank you for the license plate. I do love my Rangers. Tough year this year, but get them next year. This is the same shirt that I saw at that thrift store at one time. Awesome. This looks like it's going to fit. The size we got. It's missing the size. Awesome though. Tacos. The other one was like really big. This one might fit. So thank you for the T-shirt. Indianapolis Colts. We have a book here. Amazing food hacks. Mason craft and was this kind of like a mason jar? Tabletop unlimited. I guess you just put it on your table and you serve stuff on it. So that's awesome as well. Thank you, Christy, for all the wonderful gifts, the license plates, the t-shirts. And stuff of that nature, I will get to your letter. Thank you a lot, Christy, for all the wonderful gifts. Okay, so we're going to get onto this box down here. I think I know what this is. Hand under that table, try to score, but watch out for the whole clasp. It's kind of like an adventure board game, kind of an action game, sports game. If you guys like, um, if you like games like air hockey, foosball, stuff like that, if you're looking for something new, clasp is one of those kind of games. It kind of has like magnets has magnets and something like that. You have a little ball in the middle and you use these magnets and you try him back and forth and try to get it into the goal. Um, I think it's a Swedish game or a Denmark game, Danish. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun game. If you guys have kids or something, you're looking for a new game, check it out. Clask, it's won a bunch of awards. It's a good family game, check it out. 
and uh, thank you, Mikkel, for uh, sending me this. This is this is awesome. Thank you. We have a package here from Aline in Texas. Hey, Taco Sacks, here are a few things for you. A small token of support. I was cleaning my garage, getting ready for a garage sale so I can use the space as my new eBay sales warehouse. I found these license plates from an old vehicle. I immediately knew what to do with them. The dish is for your friend's collection. I hope it's appropriate. And they're sure I figured you'd be able to sell easier than I can. I'm fairly new to online sales and look forward to your videos. Keep up the great work. Peace. Aline from Texas, a suburb outside of Houston. It's Harvard. Awesome. Sweet. Harvard t-shirt. No tag. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Very nice. It might be a medium. I'll wear it for a little bit. Looks like it's my size. I didn't go to Harvard. I'm not smart enough to go to Harvard. Not even close. Um, so thank you for the t-shirt. We got a set. Texas. Awesome, Aline. Awesome, awesome. Looks like coin. No, it looks like uh, glass cake. Courier and Ives. Yep, glass cake. This is actually probably one of my favorite designs of the glass cake. I know I come across the bowl often. I was actually at a thrift store uh, this week and they had a bigger bowl. I think it was like $8. Uh, but this is awesome. I know it's, uh, it's one of the nicer glass bake designs. Um, thank you so much, Aline, for the awesome glass bake bowl, the license plates, and the t-shirt. Huh. Hey Taco, this is my first time ever sending a package to a YouTuber. Enclosed is a New Jersey license plate and a DVD. I hope you're able to watch the DVD and let me know what you think. I've enjoyed your videos covering different aspects of your business. I too, own my, I too own my own business and do similar aspects as you do. Looking forward to your upcoming videos. So, and so we have a license plate here from New Jersey. This is my first New Jersey plate. I don't have any other New Jersey plates, which is... All right, so it kind of seems like a spiritual quest. Yep, that's what it says on the front. So yeah, I'll check out this DVD and let you know how I think. Thank you for the license plate, Jonathan. Here we have a package from Christy in Bridgewater, New Jersey. Hey Taco Stacks, hello from New Jersey. I've been watching your videos for almost a year now. I love your content. I wish people near me threw away half of what you find. Your channel inspired me to create a Poshmark account to try my hand at reselling clothes. Any chance you can do a Q&A soon? Anyways, hope you enjoy the license plate. These were just laying around the house. I figured whatever doesn't make the wall, you can scrap. The yellow ombre plates are more recent. The blue ones are older plates from the 90s and older. The single yellow plate is a yellow, little bit beat up, but it's super old. Figured you can strain it. Peace, Christy. So thank you, Christy. This one is very mint. It's the blue one. Very, very cool. Another blue one. Do they? No. All right. A lot, a lot of plates there. Oh, here's the other plate. Yellow plate, just like. And I'm dropping my license plate. The yellow plate. This one is the same style plate. I guess it's just a little bit more color faded. It also has a square, the other one doesn't have squares. So I guess this one might be older. I can definitely feel it's a little bit heavier, so it's definitely older. Um, I think with a rubber hammer, uh, I should be able to flatten out this top piece uh, and figure that thing out. So thank you, Christy, for all license plates, and thank you for the letter. Here we have a package from Deborah in Arizona. Enjoy from Arizona. All right, yeah, so we got, I guess this would be a vanity plate and this plate. It's kind of weird, one's embossed and one isn't. Sweet. Oh, we got another one sticking to the back. Here we go, got another license plate. So we got three Arizona license plates, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So thank you, Deb and John. Okay, here we have a package from Wendy in Ohio. Taco Sex, I think I saw some where your name is actually I think I saw somewhere where your name is actually Dan, but Taco works. Yeah, it's not Dan, but it's, yeah, sure, Dan. That's, that's uh, yeah, Taco works. Uh, there's a couple of Ohio plates, whether you have on your wall or not, you can scrap them, whatever works. Love your videos. Keep hustling, Wendy Fox. They seem a little different. One's got like a blue top, and one's got, one's like just yellow. One's white, one's... That's awesome. Thank you, Wendy, for the two license plates. First, Ohio license plates. I don't have any already, so that is awesome. Definitely will be going up on the wall. Thank you again, Wendy. Here we have a package from Drago in Sterling, Kentucky. 
What's going on? Hello from Kentucky. We love watching your videos and want to contribute to the license plate wall. We have also included Blue, Mount, Blue Monday bars from our local candy store, Ruth Hunts, which happens to be the official candy maker for the Kentucky Derby. We live in Mount Sterling, Kentucky, which holds a large flea market festival every October called Mount Sterling Court Days. A great place to pick up a few good deals. Keep up the great works, Julie. So thank you, Julie. This is, wow, this is a nice plate. And we have some chocolates here. I assume they're chocolate, chocolate sweets. They are chocolates. So thank you for the chocolates. And then we have this awesome Kentucky plate. Very, very cool, nice design as always. Thank you for the Kentucky plate, Julie, and thank you for the chocolates. Awesome, thank you. Here we have a package from Jennifer in Kansas. Mr. Stacks, hey, really enjoyed your channel. Thought you might like this tag from Kansas. Keep on stacking, Jennifer from Kansas. Wow, this is really cool. I feel like I just had another hot rod plate. <laughs> is this like front plate only, not that? Okay, so this is this is uh, like a bandy style plate that's uh, a decorative plate. So I guess you'd put this like on a hot rod on the front. It wouldn't actually be your license, but very, very cool. I don't know if Kansas actually uses this same style, or is this just like, uh, just decorative, decorative. Um, it would be cool. I think this is a cool looking plate, regardless if it goes on the back or not. Thank you, Jennifer, for the license plate. Here we have a package from Doug in Texas. Be wrong, Doug. <laughs> so right, Doug. Sir Taco, here's a plate from Mexico, the state of Nuevo Leon. That was my best impression. The capital of which is Monterrey. There will be a quiz later. <laughs> Don't quiz me. Uh, this is from the right Doug. Mexico. First license plate from Mexico. This is awesome. This will be going on the international side. Very, very cool. Don't come across a lot of international plates, so thank you, the wrong Doug, again, for another great package. And uh, keep living a dream. Here we have a package from Peggy in Dayton, Ohio. Oh, sweet. Yes, I don't have this Ohio plate yet. Awesome. From the Iron Dog Salvation Antiques. Thank you, Peggy, for the awesome license plate. I don't have this Ohio plate yet. I don't have this Ohio plate yet. Um, very, very, very cool. I appreciate it so much. Um, thank you, Peggy, for the awesome license plate. I did not see a letter in here. Yep, I did not see a letter, so I hope all is well with you, Peggy, and thank you for the license plate. Here we have a package from David in Kansas. All right, don't see a letter in this one. So David sent a Kansas plate from 1968. So that is awesome. I definitely don't have this plate. Um, in black and yellow. That is very, very cool. Midway USA. Is this from Wichita? Wichita. So isn't this like the color of the Wichita Shockers? Shockers is in my... It's got to be that. Wichita Shockers, it's a university. They had Mike Pelfrey graduate from there. I know they were black, yellow, or orange, and green, I think. So um, maybe this is... I don't know how that correlates at all, but uh, thank you for the Kansas license plate. Uh, it's very, very cool. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks again. Here we have a package from the Warren family in Pennsylvania. All right, well, all right. So we have, a, we have a letter here. Taco Stacks, number one, keep up the good work. Thank you for that letter. Uh, I appreciate it. I don't think I'm number one, but I appreciate the kind words. We have this one from Matthew, North Dakota in 2018. So awesome. Thank you, Matthew. Awesome North Dakota plate with the little bison on there. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you for the plate. It's going on the wall. Hey, here's a package from Brianna in Sellersville. Sellersville is actually pretty close to me. I think it's only like 45 minutes or an hour away. Oh, got a little letter. Little Home from Brianna at Little Home Garden 247. 247. I feel like that's a highway. I can be completely off. Not very familiar with it. I barely know how was I drive one. Uh, here we go. Hey, I hope this plate helped build your wall. I don't live far from you, so it's nothing crazy, but it does have a story behind it. The car this plate was on saved my life. Driving home from Quaker Town after a night of work, I went off the road. It was snowing, and I came a foot away from a ditch. Anyways, I hope it works. I just started working on my own channel. I was happy to see a YouTuber by me. 
Hope you have a good rest of your morning, evening, or night. If you go to Quaker Town, again, check out Liberty Thrift and Home or Care and Share in Sarton. They have nine buildings for all different things. Care and Share in Sarton is actually a thrift store that I do like the Way and Pay at. So if you guys have ever been to like a Way and Pay store, that's the one that I go to. Care and Share in Sarton, Pennsylvania, if you guys want to check that out. Brianna, I believe your, your YouTube channel is Little Home Garden 247 So if you guys want to check out Brianna over there, she has a YouTube channel. Uh, and here we have a Pennsylvania license plate. So it has a great story behind it, and uh, I'll throw it up on the wall. Thanks again for the license plate. From Washco in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this, is, this is good. This is, this is good. Coupons on, on top of coupons. Lots of Dunkin' Dunk coupons. This is great. See, uh, see if I can still use this. Eh, they expired like nine days ago. So, fortunately, if I meet the guy at the local uh, Dunkin' Donuts, actually lets me use expired coupons. So, I appreciate all this. I don't know how many is going to let me use. Um, I'm probably like 200 here. Uh, thank you so much for all the coupons. I appreciate it. I did not see a letter in here, but they could be mixed in somewhere else. Thank you for all the coupons. Here we have a package from Bailey in Kentucky. Hey Taco Snacks, here's a plate from my state. Love the videos. I'm a fellow Etsy store, Etsy store seller. My shop and name is Bones Bailey. So check that out, Bones Bailey. Here we have an awesome license plate from Kentucky with the Wildcat, I guess that'd be. A wild cat, also known as the University of Kentucky Wildcats. So that is awesome. Thank you so much for the license plate and nice letter. Thank you. Here we have a package from Goler in Michigan. Here we have a letter. Hello, Mr. Stacks. My wife and I enjoy your videos like all of them. My favorites are the auction vids. Nothing like a box lot with hidden treasures in the bottom. My wife prefers your garbage picking videos. It's amazing to see how the trash service works there in Pennsylvania. We aren't even allowed to put lawn debris in our containers. Second, this Michigan trailer plate for a collection pulled it from our antique mall in Allen, Michigan. Picked up a yard sale in Battle Creek, Michigan last summer. Appreciate you sharing with everyone. Good luck this year, Jeff and Teresa. Oh yeah, these are, this is a beaut. She's a beaut. Michigan, 1967. Very, very cool, nice graphics. I don't know if this has been recently repainted, but this looks like perfect. Maybe it did just the style of it back then. Thank you so much, Jeff and Teresa. Here we have a package from Jeff in Tulsa. We have no letter, quite a license plate. So this is my first Oklahoma plate, I'm pretty certain. We have the Native America style on the bottom. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for the awesome Oklahoma license plate, Jeff. G, we have a package here from G in California. I actually received this package today. Um, so yeah, it was sent out three days ago, 40, four days ago? Um, yeah, so I received this package today, um, awesome. Thank you, G, for the package from California. Uh oh, he's got some weight. Dear Taco Stacks, my name is G, an avid viewer of your channel. You rock. I'm a liquidator here in Northern California for the last 15 years. I get some of the craziest stuff from a hoarder's home full of newspaper to a warehouse full of feathers. I was going through my personal warehouse and found a mix of California plates, all from vehicles we have taken in have to surrender the plates with the stickers. Some make it to the DMV, some don't. I hope you enjoy the plates. This one is unique in a batch of California car dealer plates. Keep up the good works, G. Never used plates. Wow. These are mint. Awesome, 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 awesome. Nice never used plates. Those have the DMV in California. We have another license plate. Another license plate. Another license plate. Awesome as well. Lunch account, what is this? Gurf certified. Certified, certified. That is cool. We have another certified. Two more certifieds. Certified, uncertified. I'm uncertain why it says certified. I don't know if anyone knows. If G, you know why these are certified or what they are. I have no idea why they would say that. Um, and then we have this plate, California. Dealer plate. It says deal on the side. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I appreciate all the license plates. 
And thank you so much, and I wish you the best of luck for your liquidator business. Thank you for the license plate. Okay, last box of the day, we have Jerry from No Idea. Oh, it's a jacket. Oh, this is sweet. Nice. This is vintage, made in USA. Awesome. We have a letter here. There's no letter. I do remember you saying if I'd like a jacket. This is sweet. Oh, yeah. You're going to see this at the flea market. I can tell you that much. This thing is sweet. I love the vintage look of jackets sometimes. I actually don't have many jackets. I bought one at a thrift store this week. Very vibrant, very vibrant. So thank you, Jerry, for the awesome jacket. I didn't see a letter in here, so if there is, I apologize for not getting to it. But so awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for all the mail, guys and girls. This is uh, something that really does mean a lot to me. The license plate project is something that's really cool because not only is this just a simply a YouTube channel, it's kind of a community, and I feel like the license plate project offers that community-based uh, friendliness, friendliness, as you might want to say. It's a uh, it's something that, you know, it's mean, it means a lot to me, especially as someone who didn't really just want to make YouTube videos straight out of high school or college or anything like that. It's kind of something that just found its way through my life, and you guys have been great, and I appreciate the tremendous support you guys have all given to me. So thank you so much for our license plates. Thank you for the chocolate. Thank you for the gift cards. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Awesome jacket as well. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to send any sort of mail or want to send a license plate, my information for my P.O. Box will be in the description below so you can just copy and paste it um, and send any sort of mail that you might want to send. License plate, package, a letter, or anything you want to do. Uh, I appreciate all the wonderful gifts and hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream.